As a first priority, planning for the maintenance of ACMs must include consideration of removal as the preferred control option. Where they've been removed, asbestos containing materials must be replaced with non-asbestos containing material. Before you undertake any drilling in an asbestos cement product, there are some important preparations. Drilling of asbestos cement sheeting can release asbestos fibres into the atmosphere, so precautions must be taken to protect the drill operator and other persons from exposure to these fibres. A hand drill is preferred to a battery powered drill because the quantity of fibres released is drastically reduced if the hand drill is used. If a battery powered drill is to be used, it must be on low speed and should be fitted with a local exhaust ventilation system. First, make sure there are no unprotected people working in the area where you'll be drilling. Restrict access to the work area by closing doors and windows and using signs and barrier tape. If you can, you'll need to restrict access to the rear of the asbestos wall in a similar way. And if you're drilling into an asbestos ceiling, that might involve closing off the room underneath. If work is to be carried out at height, appropriate precautions must be taken to prevent the risk of falls. Protect all areas within the restricted area from contamination by putting polythene drop sheets down and taping them to prevent movement. And make sure you have adequate lighting and all necessary tools with you before you start the job. Once all the site preparation work is complete, you and anyone else in the restricted work area should put on appropriate PPE. The selection and use of personal protective equipment, PPE, should always be based on a risk assessment as determined by a competent person. When drilling into vertical surfaces, cover the drilling point and the rear of the drilling point if accessible with a strong adhesive tape, such as duct tape, to prevent the edges of the hole from crumbling. Mark the drilling point and cover with a thick paste like wallpaper paste, gel or shaving cream. This will help capture any fibres from the drilling. Carefully drill through the paste. Then wipe away the paste with a rag or wet wipe, removing the paste and any debris from the wall and drill bit. Dispose of the rags as asbestos waste, as they will contain asbestos dust and fibres. Seal the drilled edge of the hole. When drilling overhead horizontal surfaces, mark the point to be drilled Drill a hole through the bottom of a plastic cup. Fill the cup with shaving cream, gel or a similar thickened substance. Put the drill bit through the hole in the cup so that the cup encloses the drill bit and make sure the drill bit extends beyond the lip of the cup. Align the drill bit with the marked point. Ensure the cup is firmly held against the surface to be drilled and drill through the surface. Remove the drill and cup from the surface and wipe the surface clean. Remove the drill bit from the cup and use damp rags to clean off paste and any debris from the drill bit. Dispose of the rags as asbestos waste as they will contain asbestos dust and fibres. Seal the exposed edges with a sealant. Dust extraction systems can be used when drilling into asbestos cement walls and ceilings. Extraction nozzles fit on the end of the flexible hoses to the HEPA filtered vacuums. A hole in the nozzle allows the drill to pass through while the nozzle extracts the dust. The extraction nozzle must be pressed flat against the surface to work properly and with the drilling operation complete, decontaminate the work area as outlined in the decontamination section of this DVD. 
Visually, inspect the asbestos work area to make sure it's been cleaned properly. Transport and dispose of waste according to storage, transport and disposal safe work procedure.